Antonio Banderas made a name for himself alongside iconic Spanish filmmaker Pedro Almodovar in the 80s. But he didn't capture the hearts of American fans until the following decade. In the 90s, the good-looking Spaniard made a major splash in Hollywood when he starred in a series of popular films, including Interview with the Vampire, Evita, and The Mask of Zorro. And it was in all of those movies that Banderas tidily owned the big screen with some of Hollywood's hottest stars. Finally, we agree on something. All while he was taking Hollywood by storm, the actor was also making serious moves in his personal life. Banderas divorced his first wife, Annalesa, in 1996. And that same year, he married American actor Melanie Griffith, who co-starred with him in the 95 rom-com Too Much. As E! News noted, at the time, Banderas was separated, but still married to his first wife when he and Griffith began dating. Even though Banderas fell in love with Griffith on set, he admitted to being struck by her years earlier. He first laid eyes on the iconic actor at the 1989 Academy Awards, according to ABC News. So maybe theirs was a relationship that was always meant to happen, and they lived out that destiny for 18 years, with Griffith ultimately filing for divorce in 2014. But the couple endured plenty of adversity while they were together, including health scares, addiction, and and even one particular famous woman trying to steal Antonio away. So who was this mysterious almost mistress? It just so happens it was the queen of pop herself. In the 1991 documentary Madonna, Truth or Dare, the singer openly admitted she once had a crush on Banderas and even tried to hook up with him. I'm gonna make Antonio fall madly in love with me. We don't know exactly how she tried to convey her feelings for the Spaniard, but her methods can have been on the up and up. As the story goes, Banderas had no idea Madonna was attracted to him until she called and told him about her confession in the documentary. He revealed to Jess Cagle in 2019, I thought somebody was making a joke at me because I picked up my phone in my hotel room and it was Madonna. But that rather public admission didn't breeze by Griffith. When Banderas and Madonna were cast in the 1996 film Evita, Griffith was very much present on the set, but denies Madonna was the reason. She explained to Larry King in 2002, Madonna was after him publicly. I had just gotten pregnant and I went with him. So the press made a big thing about how Melanie's watching over Antonio because she's afraid that Madonna's going to steal him. And it really wasn't the case. But regardless of the real story, Griffith says she was ultimately banned from the set. Still, for her part, Madonna never hid the fact that she was attracted to Banderas. In 2015, she confirmed to Howard Stern that she would have dated the Spanish actor if the timing were right. She said, He's hot. I had a big crush on him. But he was with Melanie Griffith. I wished. But Madonna wasn't the only one who thought Griffith was a little too present in her husband's professional life. According to Yahoo, some of the other Avita cast and crew turned against Griffith after the media pegged her as being jealous of Madonna. According to MTV, Madonna was on her best behavior around the couple and even skipped a premiere after party out of respect. But it wasn't the first time Madonna was prevented from making a pass at Banderas. Almodovar recalled in an essay for English that Madonna had attended a party thrown by the filmmaker in 1990 just so she could meet Banderas. But she wasn't expecting him to show up with his first wife, Annalesa. The director recalled, Anna dared to get close to our table and told Madonna sarcastically, I see you like my husband. It doesn't surprise me. All women like him. But I don't mind because I am very modern. To which Madonna replied, Get lost. Obviously, I am not an average man. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.